it's time for episode two. Let's go. We just beat the first one. Oh, we are. Next VOD, next VOD. Are we talking into the game right now? No. Oh, there we go. So we went under. Uh, make more games of this. Like, oh, I'm, I'm actually confused how it went under, but I'm glad they're making more games now. Is this what we're supposed to pick? Play, uh, pick? Okay, so it's the save file. Nice. Let's go, guys. Play next one. I'm sure everyone's fine and is having a good time, especially from this little episode um, preview we have right here. Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. So, this other time... I just like how we said nothing. I was like, I was like trying to like, confuse with the controls still. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. It's kind of hard to do, though. Like, watching your own butt. Like, it's really hard. Okay, it's fall. They're not gonna do well in like very shortly. Three months later. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Have they tried eating the zombies? When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night. I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Like, you don't know that would infect you. You don't know it, like, goes the other yeah. way. They should try yeah. it. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Oh, um, we'll manage. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's gotta miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Um. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Bro? We should have not saved that man. Who knows what Larry's problem is? Maybe that's just the way he is, but that guy needs to chill out. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Yeah. Uh, knock me flat. All right, it's time to throw your axe. Don't, Don't risk the noise. Gunshot will bring walkers. The bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. 
I feel like a wor week's worth of food. Shit. So like, is that Kenny? I don't know. There Come is on. that thing in some people that you can't really determine it's there until they're dead. That if you eat them, it will kind of make you like go crazy. But like, it's only in a small-ish percentage of people. So like, you're, you're so right. You're you're so right. Let's try it. You never know. Just see, like, have one person like have a little snack first. Jesus Christ! Oh shit! No, no! Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. Please, swear. Please. You guys okay? Get, get it off! Fine. Get it off! God damn it! Get, get it off me! Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. All right. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. Cut it uh, off. Please, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Cut it off. Oh no. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please. Cut it off. This. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Try the trap again! Anything, please! Try to cut the chain! I'm not getting the option. Please! Get me out of this! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> Lee, it has to be now! <laughs> Forget it. We used to like that at the airport. Try this sort of thing. You're not cutting through that. Okay. Cut it off. I'm sorry. There's no other choice. <gasps> Damn it, Lee. Just cut off his fucking leg. Cut it off. Sorry, but we have to go now. Yeah. Oh, one more. One more. Okay, you're good. Lee. Can't keep him back. Oh, no, one more. I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Go, 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 go. Uh, oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. No hesitation, just cutting off his leg. <laughs> if he's alive, grab him and let's go. So I camera angles. I don't know why it was facing down like that. I wasn't like hitting anything for it. Behind you, Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move. Ah! Travis, just run! What are you doing? Oh my God! Everyone trips out here. They're fine. No! They're fine. I like how they all fall down. Like this is a horror movie. It's. <laughs> So much. Like, the amount that they fall is definitely like they're like in a horror movie.
Shit, the gate's open! We've got wounded! Shit. What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! Oh my god. What happened? Oh, what the hell? Who's that? What's going on? Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for <laughs> all of us. The daughter? But that food is almost five. gone. The We've dad, yes. Maybe a week's worth yeah. left. Yeah. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's uh, running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Bro, there, there is not sides, bro. I don't side, see any of you bro. stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. I'll do it. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's okay. food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Oh, wait, what are we working with here? Four food items for ten hungry people. All right, how's everyone feeling? We know who we're not feeding. <laughs> the old guy. <laughs> he gets nothing. All right, can I have the apple though? Because the other thing would like kill me. <laughs> Is he going to be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Okay. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. No, thank Go ahead you. and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Do you want to eat food with your bloody hands? Just for funsies? Extra flavor? I'm sorry I didn't grab his leg. That could have been a snack for us. Um... Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kanja can save him. Um. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. 
No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Well... Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Well, I'm gonna give it to you. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. I don't you didn't care. think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Well, what fix is your it attitude. between you two? <laughs> why do you have a personal grudge against Lee? He knows why. Fix your attitude, bro. <sighs> You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We got a high school musical. Like uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Keep up on huh. that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. What if I gave him food? Would he like me more? I don't think so. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? All right. Sure. When did you lose it? The kiddos? I, had it a couple days ago. I don't know why I, I can't promise. just give this if group of three it, of them the like know. little packet Thank of you. crackers. Okay, Clem. That, that that should be fine. Well, I gotta take care of some things. <laughs> why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? Um... I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. How are you all now? you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. Um, you did all you I'm could. I'm sure you did all you could. Yes. Yeah, maybe. Pop culture reference to what? What, what was the moment I was the for what? So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. High School so. Musical? Yeah, I've seen High School Musical. <laughs> Have I played this? Nope. Actually, I don't know if I've even really even seen High School Musical. I know the songs. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah. If that's okay, I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I'm not sure. I hope he will. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Your friend back to normal in no time. We're chilling with it. How you doing, Doug? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? <laughs> nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Duck. Okay. Bye, Lee. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh. 
That can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. All On the, the time. Hand, Asterix, that all the time. Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Sleeping any better? I'm not, but... Sleeping any better? <laughs> no. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Back in a bit. Oh, 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 okay. How's it going back here? Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. Um, Coast doesn't sound like a smart idea. Coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. And take us with you. I'll give you food in one second. Oh no, hold on. I got. I got. I got to go talk to everyone first. I think we, we missed the one lady, right? Don't you not want food? Um. Mm -hmm. Can I not see you? Do you not want food? I, I guess she doesn't want food. One, two, three. There's not ten people here to talk to. What are you? What? what? Can I see you up there? I go like this. Oh, oh, there we go. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. What should you think about leaving? Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. Road We're trip! Yeah, let's go! To the drugstore. We have a routine now and it's working. For now. Keep an eye out. Fine. All right, Clementine. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. What, so the coast? If you have any more food, I, I do think going too. to like a small, yeah, like an island, like a small island, would be like the one of the best places to be going right now. Well, probably a lot before going there, huh? Here you are. Yeah. Lily has a point about these new people being extra mouths to feed. I know, but maybe the problem isn't that there isn't any food. There just isn't any here. We gotta think about moving on. Thanks for buying me time to get that guy out of the bear trap back there. I can't believe you cut off his leg. I don't know if I could have done it. I didn't have a choice. Was that or the walkers? Want, food? Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. I need to feed both of you? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Hey, Carly, how's it going? Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. 
I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Stuff on the shore. Then, then that would be, like, soaking wet and, like, very lethargic, even, even more so. <sighs> hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Duck? No, probably not. <laughs> what do you think, Duck? <laughs> Bro! I want to see his reaction, guys. <sighs> Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, Imaginary man. peanut butter. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. The Wabies! Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I don't know you, bro. Kenny. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. The other no- Oh my goodness. Not such an easy job, is it? <laughs> I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride. Yeah, I want to go with them. That's why I give them food. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. That's all the food for today, yeah. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought... I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. That's a really the other bad way to put it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> The, 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 the way they keep like adjusting the camera is wild. Asshole. Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! He, but he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. 
Um, we're all infected. We're all infected. Everyone. I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. No. Why do you need gas? No. Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, uh, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. Bro! I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Charlie's the best guy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Okay. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Lily's way of running things is smart. It's not easy, but it's keeping I don't know why. I don't know what that was hitting or because maybe you just don't want to be in charge. By default, yeah. it was on the, the so computer controls because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? I ended up getting locked in one of the commissary storage closets. It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Um... I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Everyone. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. <laughs> it's just He's stupid. like, man, How they're so stupid. You got over there anyway. Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. These guys seem so creepy. The dairy for well, as long as I can remember. I'm getting bad vibes. But, uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry, and you guys were There's two of them. Kill them. Oh no. There's yeah, and you know what? We ate them. it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and 
hope they move on. Fuck you! <gasps> Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. No, oh, don't do they have any food on them? Go look! Go check! They have a crossbow at least? Oh, oh okay. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. <laughs> it's all corn. the juice. Listen, you don't need I it anymore. I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda Let's turn it John, off. Anytime you don't to touch the, the control John for a bit, yeah. Theory. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Oh! Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she- We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? We got a lot of, um, go get your vet we have a team left around. Prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. Okay. You can learn a little something Me about neither. our fence. I don't trust them either. Go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is the vibes incredible. are uh, it's got food. Not the best here. Fence. They're not immaculate oh, here. Man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh what's the first Before place to We can think about bringing our whole group here to stay. We need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my cannibal? eyes open. Find out what you what are cannibal me. vibes? Because <laughs> I've already suggested multiple times that we should just eat the the zombies. <laughs> There's kind of cannibal vibes anywhere. Maybe I don't know what that was. Hmm. Okay. 
Come on, I know. I, I'm the one who has them, not these people. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> so what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right. Keep me posted. All right. Is this the only place we can like really go in? That's creepy. Thank you. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How did it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Um, um. We're really not getting a good look at the perimeter from looking at their front yard, though. <clears throat> I love Texas Chainsaw Massacre, guys. I can't wait to go inside. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Sus. Sus. This rope is perfect for the swing. Are you gonna go? Okay. All right. You wanna fix it? All right. Okay. Hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Well, it's amazing. done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. I'm your staff. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was oh, a tough night. How many rooms? How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making. There's only three of them here, right? We could take them out. <laughs> When will dinner be ready? <laughs> it'd be a oh. still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think wow, I just, I just. <laughs> Dan was always more of a mama's boy, but don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Bow. All right, let's fix that swing.
This rope will work great as soon as I can find a board the right length. Okay. Board. Bum, 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 bum. Hello there. Oh, I found boards. Mm, pointy. Hmm, <laughs> pointy. This is too big right now. But if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. It's swing time. Leg day. Can we reach it from like over here? So just like initiate that? Oh yeah. Oh he's going. He's going. He's going. He's walking with a purpose over there. I'm not controlling anything because we interact. <laughs> Alright. This shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Again, we're guys, we're uh, three months into the apocalypse, so can you get on it? All fixed. That should make everyone happy. I want to swing. Oh, okay. No swing. Leg day! And we know nothing bad happens here from the preview that we watched for this episode. Um, this is a peaceful chapter. Nothing bad has happened to this thus far, either. What's that? Generator. You guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. No I, fun. I know, right? I, well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Um. Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Um. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. <laughs> well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Oh, well, let's go. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. These people are loaded. Oh, so how's the place looking? Uh, actually, no, they built that stay? house and probably bought all this land. Yeah, they're okay. loaded. It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Unless like they could have, like, live. inherited it. It wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling them we were talking behind his back all the, all the time. All that. So they're I, loaded. I'm, I'm sorry, all right? Uh... That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. Tasty, There's that's one. what we should do. Yes. Yes, the crows have the right idea. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Who do you think he was? At least it's not one of us. Looks like he's stuck.
Looks like he's stuck. Or pull the arrow. Oh, yeah. Disgusting. Disgusting. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Um, uh, so many people to defend it. The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. They seem creepy. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Push. Oh, that is not what I thought was going to happen, but okay. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. We could take the hands. Can't okay. Stop thinking about dinner. But also, the post was nice kind of knocked over, but okay. Rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on. I think Another I see where one. they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? I got you, I got you, bro! Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Oh! Ah! I told you what you what the? Me. Get to the gate. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Don't think I can't see ya! Give us the food! Over there! No, yes. Can't hide forever! I see him! Behind the tractor! You assholes deserve to die! I already got one of you! Okay, we're good. Did you really think no? you'd fuck with us? Damn. Something still what about all what else? What else is there? Oh, yeah. No fuel. Of course. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, I found this. You In the front? What we got? Oh. Get Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this Let's fence go. and back to the house. Ah, shit. Uh, now there you go, asshole. Can't lure me to the open. What happened? Shit, it's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to now move. We're gonna chase what's known. Did you really think you could fuck with us? Cool. Where do you think you're going? They definitely can hit us right now, but another one. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Just this is the last one. Can do this. 
Ooh. Yo, they popped off right there. You okay? Yeah. Barely. Come on. The gate's right there. Where's our food, you asshole? So these people, they here. made a promise with for food, and now they're matched. You lucky sons of bitches! Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. Peaceful, and no, we're the fun vibes right there. Lee, what's wrong? The electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah. I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I, I like how I gave this man food, they gave us a lot and it has not in improved his opinion at all. Killed a bunch all. of our farmhand. We were able to get him to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Um. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. Why would we go when attack you're ready them? To go scope out that bandit mm -hmm. camp. Come find us. Bandits? That makes literally serious? no sense to attack this them. This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah. That's As bad real ideas. Yeah, the apocalypse is also a bad idea. Since Carly and yeah. Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. All right, where we going? Oh, what we doing out here? What's this? No gasoline empty. They're storing gasoline all over the property. Oh, is it full? They have a decent amount. I like, get not a lot, but like, more, more than like they kind of implied. Hey, yo, eat that. A little snack. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Zombie cow. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Or is this the plot that they use in the TV show? I wonder. Open up that door, bro. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Be fine. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? 
Um. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good You're leader. A good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together. Exactly. Once in a while. Are you what, what we got? Oh, you literally won't even interact with us. Goodness. Hey, how do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. D okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Arrow to the end again. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. I've never played Skyrim. <laughs> um. So, he's the asshole. Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost... Pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. I'm still gonna throw him, on, throw him from a zombie, like, first thing, if there's, like, zombies anywhere. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out oh in our asses. Oh my god, I'm gonna push you into the fence, bro. No, I won't do that. But like... I'll push you into a zombie, though. <laughs> fence, if there's one coming for us. Alright, what we got? What we got? That thing keeps a fence electrified. It sure does. This is well well done, yo. Bum, 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 bum. Can they kick me? I wish I could see change the camera angle. It's pretty close. They look happy. How's it going? Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Let's go. Um, how are you doing? How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Maybe. Got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? No. Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think do you of think the of farm? The it's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? No! no, 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 no. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Clint. I hope so. I hope so, too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clint. That's enough for now. 
Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. <laughs> Duck just like flings off that swing. They're like, oh. Well. Where are we going? Oh, there we go. Hey guys, how's it going up here? Fellas, how you feeling? Fellas. Me? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? Oh my goodness. We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Sure. Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. The, uh... The farmers? You're chilling. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Just like the Shrek song, guys. I have seen Shrek. Here. Oh. oh shit, you found it? That's pretty noticeable, right? This anime. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Uh huh. Um, so we can't really change the direction we're walking. You see anybody? Can't tell. Watch my back, Lee. Bro, they're I eating like a lot. Of, they're eating good out here. We chilling? Clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. All right. You got any food going on? Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. A little snack. Oh, oh. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Um. Uh... This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. What's in that? You specifically uncovered it. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Well, we got... It's like an explosive. Oh, no, I want the shopping cart. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. All right, what you got in here? Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. OK. 
Okay, chair. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Recent fire. Just water. What about this table? Oh wait, what 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 your trash? Yuck, I don't need that. Nothing. Gasoline. It's it has Empty. something in it. I need it. I need the guy else. A bomb. I'm still ready for it, guys. A camera. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. Okay, you're well, so suspicious. You're Let's so suspicious. Oh, good. What? Huh? Oh, hey, let me I see, see that. You handled that gun. I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. No one's running anything, sir. It's all over for you when I get a charge. I think probably takes batteries. For this camera. Where are you? Or do you like want to take food back or like anything? Nothing but fumes. Shit. What's bro, bro, bro like appears randomly? Right? What? Bloody bunny. What what that? The hell? Don't you fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. The men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. They're saying so many, uh, sweet. song lyrics right now. Put your damn right guns now. down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her! So what if I did? You stole her from me! What? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> 
Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for. Ugh. What? How may I assist you in the wild? God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman. <laughs> Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Here comes the zombies now, though. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Why don't you grab the other one then? But that we that we saw some other dude get killed and we didn't take his crossbow. Also, that's an arrow on the ground. No, take it. Okay. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't storming getting in soft game? on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. Okay, You're back. Go. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. This group loves each other, guys. What's going on with They're that? having a great time all the time. Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? You could say that. Yeah, you could say that. They don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Don't eat the food. Dinner will be ready before They're you They're know definitely And thank you for the conch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. I don't trust. I don't trust at all. Am I supposed to go over there? Probably. I got your hat. Everyone knows that it's stormy weather in media. Um, when good things are about to happen. It's, okay, it's, it's not a zombie cow. I want a zombie cow. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Not a zombie cow yet. Yeah, I hope it's for a zombie cow. It. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? 
though. I don't think so, Clem. Not the way the world is now. I just... Uh, I don't think I could do that. Oh. Maybe when the world gets better, then... Maybe. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. How's alright? How's that? Is that, is that like, okay? It's like what? Wait, no. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Cows are so cute. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like duty. <laughs> Kids. What? Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Oh, uh, how's the cow? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yippee! Yep. Nothing bad. You guys having fun? Uh-huh. Okay. Mm. What I got going on? Okay. Oh, that one. Just cooking up your friend. I want to put in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Okay. I'm looking for someone suspicious back here. Got a dead body. Empty. So, like, all their boxes are empty? Sus. So, like, they could also just be, like, selling people out. Oh. Okay, no. <laughs> Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. They're not beating the the accusations here, guys. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Mm-hmm. I don't know, I won't open that until last. It's a feeding trough. With rocks. We got. Just some fence posts. Okay, and then we're gonna open out the back, see if there's any uh, big secret back there. The moment of truth, guys. Oh my god. Is it locked? You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. 
Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Can we pick the lock? Oh, we can unscrew hey, it. Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Um. Oh, you are not saying bro. what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Bro, that's that's no that's hmm. what? That's no excuse. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. All right, let's go. How are we gonna unlock this? Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Okay, we have to get you out of the barn. Don't mind me. Oh, no. Hopefully the door is the most silent closing door. <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Alright. Touch the generator, maybe? is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. Did he just go immediately back? Why didn't we why didn't we uh go in that time? You wanna distract someone? lowest walk over here <laughs> the trees are gorgeous though i can't wait for it to be fall what's going on lee did something happen there may be something going on with that barn i'm telling you lee the longer we stay here the more trouble we're getting ourselves into and what exactly do you think i'm supposed to do about it if you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit then get to it but if it's up to me we should just take our food and go. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to they're think they're they trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. No, you are going over. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. All right, so you're not doing anything. Oh, mom, 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 mom. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Yes. Cornfields. Wait, what? what? Oh my god. 
Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Okay. Hey. Lots of hay. Uh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. Okay. What if someone someone was doing something back here? I need someone to distract this dude. What's happening? Boom, boom. Oh, we need something from here anyway, so let's do that. Just gonna borrow this for a second. Perfect. Yes. All right. What else are we looking at? Oh, someone's gonna fall into the picket fence. You. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. That's so. You really like that gun. What's not to like? It's just a gun. It's just a gun. That's where you're wrong. This is Charlotte. She's as faithful as a starving hound when you got a bone in your pocket. Notice your suspicion. I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage. Some bloody clothes. Things happen on a dairy. Cut myself darn bad just the other day. Blood everywhere. You seem okay. I'm tough. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running. Yeah, right? they have a lot. People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. What the? Okay, let's turn this off and maybe now we can do it because now we have the tool. How does he know it turns off? Like it's loud, but it's not like that loud. Okay, we obviously need something else to it. The only thing that's making him leave. Unless we can get Kenny to do it. Kenny! I like how it just looks like we're walking to the abyss when we walk in here. Kenny, I need you to do something for me. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Bro, you you could definitely turn off that generator. This guy. <sighs> All right, let's try to mess up the generator more if we can. And if not, we have to go and talk to the uh, mom. the option of the button. Do we have anything else going on? There you go. Ow! Damn it! Thing is moving fast. <laughs> that thing 
is on too tight for my bare hands. Okay. There, that should do it. You're taking it? That's way too suspicious. Fucking Danny, where do you find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, Tom. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. You don't say it'll take forever. Hmm. Yes. Let's go. I think they're probably hiding a zombie back here. It's time, guys. We're about to find out their secrets. Mom! Dad! Dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey. Let's get that. So, yep. First Dad, time flying it. Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Okay. Roger, roger. Oh god, the, the, the individually? Oh, that's a lot. We need one side, right? I love Texas Chainsaw Massacre, yes! Let's go! Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. <laughs> Why don't you clean up back there? <laughs> like, that's not gonna, it's not gonna be, like, you can't eat all that. Okay. <laughs> it's like not clean in there. Wow. Angel. How Excuse me. It actually looks we reminiscent of the um, back door after a walk original Texas upstairs. Chainsaw Massacre house. Don't worry. That was a uh, while ago, and entrance back way. inside since. Everybody sit down. Now go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Upstairs, you say? Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Houses like this creak all the time with no one putting any weight on anything. It's fine. Leaning to this. Farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. Is that blood? Mm hmm. Farm books, okay. cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary what here. What is that picture they have? <laughs> Do you said, okay, you don't. Oh, oh, oh. Feels like there's a storm coming. It does. What 
they need so much morphine for? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> Ooh. What the hell? To what? Huh, what is that cord going? The bookshelf. We can walk faster. Should you do should we do that right now though? I don't think you can walk faster right now. We'll try that out when we uh I think we can then. Thank you. Uh, farm books, okay, yes, cookbooks. Yes. Nothing out of the ordinary here. They definitely heard that. Ain't no way. Okay. Lee. Mark. What the hell happened? to your legs, man. Don't eat <laughs> dinner. <laughs> Clementine. No, no. Clementine, no! Uh, huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? Duck he just popped stuck. off. He could use some goddamn manners. This woman right here is fucking insane. This woman made you a home-cooked meal, you ungrateful shit. Show some respect. Thank you, Larry. You don't even have the decency to take a hand out when you're offered one. It just makes me sick. It really does. That's enough, Larry. Ken, maybe we should... Hang on, Cat. Just eat duck close. You know what? Fuck you, Larry. <laughs> eat up. I will, and I'll enjoy every last bite. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? We need to get the kids, everyone out of here. We need to go now. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We got to think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and the how freshness. I raised my boss. He's still alive up now, there, which is wild. monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways. One way or another. Like y'all. Huh? Lily, grab a knife! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? Fucking black Put your fuck. guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Somebody do something! <gasps> Lee? Lee? <laughs> God does. I'll kill you! Fence is off. Open the gun 
damn door! You can't keep us in here! <coughs> Open up! I will tear you fuckers Stop apart with my bang. bare hands! We gotta find another way out of here! <coughs> you sick <coughs> fucking bastards! <coughs> Open this door, goddammit! I will knock the really goddamn bad. door Stop. down! It, it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do Larry? it. No. The Larry's are um, meat it. shield if there's zombies coming at us. Your feet? Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. That evil fucker invited me to eat the meat. And all the time, he knew what it was. Stay calm, Dad. We'll deal with it later. <laughs> What happened? The man hit you. They threw us in the meat locker. Lee, we gotta get out of here. If they so much as touch my family, I'll kill those sons of bitches. Get us out, you sons of bitches! Dad! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walker! Dad, please. All right, what we got going on? Could there be a hole behind these pallets? No, but you can try it. No such luck. Please settle down! I'll, I'll rip your goddamn heads up and, and make you swallow them! Meat. Uh, I don't want to know what kind. Oh, we're in the freezer. Come on. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Our Dad! I think. Shelves are pretty sturdy. We could climb up. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. Marvelous on the way. Let us out now if you want to live. That's not gonna help. I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Uh, uh, Easy. Uh, oh God. Dad. So I want to clarify, guys. I never suggest no. eating the living Dad, people. I suggested them Dad. trying to eat a zombie, come and what on. happened? He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. So I did earlier. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. Fuck. If he's dead. He's not dead. You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you. We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it! So Dad. now we know He's that eating dead. human flesh also doesn't stop heart attacks. Maybe you're right. No, god damn it! My dad survived worse than this! Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come do on, we Lee. have you can't do, be in the Do we have anything one. in here to do that with? Back this time. God damn it, Lee, I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. You're right, Kenny. Let's get this you over. Fucking with. monsters! Both of you! I don't wanna see! I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! It's the only way. <laughs> get off me! Don't do that! No! No, no, no! Don't let go of me! No! I never stopped hitting it. I never stopped hitting it. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! So now, I think we should have waited for a sign of turning. But I don't know. you fucking touch me! <laughs> Clementine. Clem. You okay? Why, Lee? Lily said he wasn't dead. He he was dead, Clementine. But what if he wasn't? He was, I, I promise. <laughs> I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? Getting out of here. 
getting out of here. Oh look, I see. Oh yeah. You get out, right? You found a way out. I'm working on it. Okay, don't even try the door. Uh, sure. I was assuming he was dead Ought anyway. Be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. Do we still the have the tool? tool? Of course they took it. Shit. <sighs> Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? He got mm -hmm. 60 cents in his pocket! Get away. I just need to. I told you to get the fuck away! I need his pocket. Respectfully. Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. Larry would have wanted. Fuck you! You think he wanted this? Of course not. You but... don't know what he wanted. You never knew him. You never gave him a chance. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe I should have tried hard. But I know he loved you. He'd want you to get out of here. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove. This head was just <laughs> If you had something I could use as a so funny. Time, it's a funny glitch. Or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. <laughs> Yippee! Oh, boy. Um, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? You fucking vulture! A ring. My mother's. Don't worry. I'm not taking it. We got here. We go. Hey, two quarters and a dime. He did say sixty cents. Sounds horrible. <laughs> Sounds funny. Still don't like Lily. Like, and get this unit off. I feel like this is a very tense situation. The apocalypse. So I, I can, I can see, especially when her dad's just dead. But her dad was horrible. You got it? Yeah. One more should do it. Well, there's our way out, Lee. All right, Clementine, get in there. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. Um, think you can do you this? Think you can do this? I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> okay. Just very stressed. Yeah. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? Oh, lock the door. Get to the other side of that door and open it. Wait, where's the rest of Kenny's family? They're not in here, right?
Leave me alone. Lee, I can see him. It's not safe in here. For God's sake, Lee. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Get in here. I got an idea. Let's go. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. It sounds like it's like snowing. In a separate room, yeah. I told you there was something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. I don't know why they don't clean any part of it though. Like that's a lot of bacteria be building up in here. Like they should at least be cleaning up the blood. <laughs> I know, I know, I should. I know they're, I know they're killed and eating people, but like, they should be cleaning up this room if they're gonna be eating things from it. God, what's wrong with these people? Maybe I shouldn't have sent Clementine through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. I mean, you have to walk through it to get out, anyways. Oh. Yippee! Nope, I want those more. So they can run out of charges. You gonna get sick? Yeah! Me too. Jesus. This is where they butcher people. Yeah. Sick bastards. All of them. So what's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Stay close. Okay, it's raining. It sounds like it's snowing though. Outside the barn. Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. Mm. Sitting out in the rain like a damn weirdo. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. Can I pick which one to keep alive? Not the kid. Not enough meat on the trade. <laughs> oh, I know, Mabel. This is Lee, my favorite to part, too. Yeah. When I let one think they can just walk right out. He's inside. He's not coming any closer. Look down. I'll keep an eye on him. Be ready to act what I say. See what he's doing now. What's going on? Um, they're gone. I don't see him anymore. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Look again. He didn't go past us. See where he is now. Oh. Yeah. Oh no, Kenny. Oh no, okay, Kenny's fine. Where's my family, asshole? You can't have them. We need the vet. No! Can't! Lee, come on! Just go. I won't be far behind. Ooh. Ah, you see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. Cannibalism is not the answer. <laughs> Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive. I want that. I want. Me, I want. I want that. Like everywhere. Tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like he didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. 
Come here. This is not how the world works now. You won't make me kill you. Fuck you, Lee. You and Kenny. You like how do you like how she's like holding a gun but not holding a gun? Fucking asshole. And now she's holding the gun. Oh god, don't hurt him! That's Katja! Please, no! Lily, please. Keep her safe. I love rain so much. Kenny! Kenny's inside. Mia. Yeah. And in all likelihood, yeah, the fence has been off for a long time, so there's probably a lot of zombies coming towards us. Yep. Yo, I love her. Carly. Lee. Ow. Shh. Is everyone okay? We heard screams as we were coming up to the house. We need your help. Yeah. When you guys didn't come back, I figured something was up. What can we do? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed him to us. <laughs> Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got duck and Could you imagine walking house. up and hearing someone and say that? You're like, oh. Kenny is. All right. We're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. I love how Ben is just along for the ride. Yeah, that's messed up. I'm gonna take the boy and kick around. No, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Set him down. I don't want to hurt y'all. We don't have Andy, a weapon anymore, though, Andy, right? Is that you? What's going on out there? That is me. Oh, Saw through your lie. There's no running. Lee, get back! Don't come in here. You just had to go snooping around, didn't ya? Let her go, Brenda. Lee, please don't you take another step. Brenda, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. <laughs> come on get now. And leave us Brenda. Me. Brenda, you don't want to. You don't want to kill some. I know you've killed a lot of people. It's our first death in this game. That's so funny. You are dead. You just had to go snooping around, didn't you? Go, Brenda. So we have to go in. Please, please don't you take another step. Brenda, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. I did stop. What? You just had to go snooping around, didn't you? Let her go, Brenda. Please, please don't you take another step. Brenda, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. So we have to walk up. What you do? It doesn't have to end like this. Oh, 
killer, Lee! Just let me go. Keep that one, bro. Let's go up there's a little more. It was weird that he kept moving. I stopped moving. But now I've just like gone into like tapping the move button. A zombie right there. Uh huh. Do. What do you do about? Please don't make this any worse. Just stop. How do you? Like I know it's storming, but like that's right next to your ear. You know what? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you think I'm playing here, boy? All we wanted was gas. We came to you peacefully. Let's go. Don't worry, I was already on it. I'm surprised we didn't land on the spikes. Wait, how's that running? Get up. Get the fuck up. I got you, bro. I got you. My mom giving an inch. Is there something else we're supposed to do, though? Figured. Carly! I wanna I wanna choke him out. I just wanna choke him. Like I just, I don't wanna make it pass out. I think it's fine. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. It's over. Fuck you. As soon as Dan and Mama get out here, you, you all. I said it's over. Just walk away. Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee. What? Get 
Get back here and finish this, Lee! Nah. Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee! Have fun, I left the one dude alive. Lee! Let's go. Kenny's here shot though. I also left the dude in the barn, but apparently he's just chilling and Hey Lee. I guess that gun I'm that sorry bad? for leaving the motel unattended, but you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might well, not have the thing. Well, there wasn't really a gunshot though. Really killing people for food? Oh yeah. We should have known something was up. How the hell do we foresee that? Come on, Lee. I don't know. I really don't. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna see I the really messed up pictures. For the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something Where's you can document your thoughts on. Yeah, but like Clement hasn't said anything. <sighs> I feel like if Lily was gonna do anything, it would have been doing? with the gun. I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. Are you okay, bro? There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready to roll. I want you to come with us. I'm, I mean I'm here for it. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, are those bad people dead? No, they're alive and suffering. They were very bad people, but if they die, it won't be because I killed them. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Are we going to see like, the, is at the end of an episode? We do see, so, kind of. Hello? I don't want to go up to the car. This is a trap, bro. Figures. Oh, crap. What? Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. The harm we start? Yep. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. Or a lot of times, us. like, a midway point, where, like, people <sighs> are, like, really desperate. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. 
This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. Um... We'll survive without it. The hell we will. We'll find a way. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Okay, what have we got in here? Look, there's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? See if there's any water. Here. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Lee, there's a hoodie in here. Could probably fit Clementine. Doug? We killed Doug. Oh, we, we let him die. She's good. Thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Duck. Okay. Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Like the animal. Oh, shit. Oh, they were looking at us for a while, huh? That's his really nickname. They named him Ken Jr. I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If you're you're thinking it, you're I'll safe you go. sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you've got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. People who took. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. Bye. Alright, let's take out the bandits now. Let's go bring it in. Next time. Making is done, pal. We do There's one more episode left. for tonight. We gotta get ready to the go. Out of here. Lee, I need you to back me up on this. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases anymore. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Hey. Well, he's not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Yo, I got this group. They work together so nicely. <laughs> Bro, just, again, if I was in a zombie apocalypse and I somehow lived past like the first few hours of it and I was in this group, I'd be like, I'm gonna want to go in and stuff, take a step away. But um, only 43% of people chopped off this dude's leg. All of them, I guess, left him there. Um, okay, more people let Danny Shooter 50 50 about helped kill Larry. Um, so he dies anyway, but, um, kill both of the brothers. 
61 uh didn't kill 61 percent of people did not kill both of them about 50 50 um did not steal like did or did not steal hey let's draw for help let's go guys we beat this second episode in one go here it's, it's, i'm still really enjoying it the game was a lot of fun some areas do lead to like getting like stuck because they want you to do something in a specific order but like it's not it's not bad um and i'm assuming since there's several seasons they probably like improve upon that in future seasons as well if we're liking this uh, i'm sure which i am liking this um we'll probably continue and play the rest of the seasons as well which i'm excited for and again we're playing another episode right now uh but we have to watch the credits i don't think really you skip them <laughs> But yes, there was a separate character named Doug. Um, he's dead, though. So now there's Duck. <laughs> um, I think I, Carly's still my favorite character in this. Carly's cool. Carly's probably also probably gonna die. But, like, Carly cool. Who's everyone's favorite character so far? I'm chill on that now that Larry's gone, guys. And we were uh, in on the RV, which I don't think there was a way not to be on the RV, but Kenny best quite enjoy us. I keep pandering to everything for him to get on that RV. <laughs> it's also chilling. The walker conventions? Is it just people walking around like zombies? So I know um, when that show was airing, they would have things where, like, you could actually, like, be, like, have no voice, but, and, like, I don't think you even got paid for it. But it's be, like, walkers as, like, part of the show. If you, like, wanted to be in it. Because, like, we're, like, super into the show. <sighs> Alright, let's end that recording. Bye, y'all. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Next episode's starting right now here. You know, I'm gonna... Boop.